Welcome to this congregation for the awarding of degrees and welcome to our beautiful uh, Great Hall here on the London Road campus. When we uh, built this Great Hall in 1905, the whole university, all its staff and all its students fitted in here. Now this year we have 23 degree ceremonies just to make sure that our graduates for our finalists can have the send off they deserve. It shows something about the growth and the success of universities, but it is a beautiful place and we love it too much to swap it for something bigger. I am Professor Robert van der Noort, I'm the Vice Chancellor of the University of Reading and I'm the presiding officer of today's proceedings. And before I start, I want to have a, well, a few housekeeping notes for both the graduates and for you as honoured guests. So graduates, shortly you will commence, we will commence the official recognition and celebration of your degrees. You will be called, individually by name, to step to the mace who is here in front of me uh, and we will doff caps, which is the moment we formally acknowledge your award and you are a graduate of the university. Now, my tip of the day is there is a, there's a small sticker in there in the front. If you come up all the way and after we doff our caps, we'll just turn ourselves to the photographer and you get the best possible Instagrammable photograph. <laughs> I confess I'm not totally sure what Instagram will be, but <laughs> it says. But it, it is just a great photo, uh, wonderfully set up. So after we've done that, you will descend down the steps 
you will join my colleagues where you will get your certificates and the graduation brochure uh, for my colleagues. Now, on the guests, this ceremony, as you will understand, is steeped in the tradition and history of the university and of universities worldwide. But above all, it is a celebration of the achievements of the graduates. So please feel free to show your appreciation and enthusiasm for each and every one of them. And it is now my duty and pleasure to declare this congregation for the awarding of degrees By the authority of the Council and of the Senate of the University of Reading, this congregation has been summoned for the conferment of degrees. Vice-Chancellor, candidates will now be presented for their degrees. Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Doctor of Philosophy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of this university. Thuraya Albaloshi. Nada Atala Al Juaid <laughs> Sarah Al Subai <laughs> Yara Chamata. John Connell. <laughs> Ryan Coons. <laughs> Ekaterina Guseva. Shivani Grover. <laughs> Clara Hajdu. Oliver Hancocks.
Thomas Hibbard. Peter Philip James Jackson. <laughs> Yiming Meng. <laughs> Joseph William Oddy. Tolulope Tamiye Olowomofe. Esgi Ozen. Amna Rasa. Zoe Yvonne Self. Rosa Caitlin Sullivan. Nicoletta Vavuraki. Sijia Wang. <laughs> Gloria Wong Su Din. <laughs> Haro Yu. Vice Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom the degree of Professional Doctorate of Agriculture and Food has been awarded. I admit you to the degree of Professional Doctorate of Agriculture and Food of this university. Magdalena Drabble. Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Science of this university. Food Science, Rishi Kumar Jayeshbhai Patel. <laughs> Rosa Mercedes Romero Villegas. Food Technology Quality Assurance, Idioma Stella Osoagwu. <laughs> Sustainable Food Quality for Health, Manuel Bugana. Vice Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom the degree of Master of Science by Research has been awarded. I admit you to the degree of Master of Science by Research of this university. Pharmacy Practice, Hamad Al Hassan. <laughs> wow. 
Vice Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Chemistry has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Chemistry of this university. Chemistry. Thomas George Barber. Claudia Duval. <laughs> Lachlan McGregor. <laughs> Ailish Elizabeth Ann Watts. Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Chemistry has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Chemistry of this university. Chemistry with a year in industry research. Rumandeep Kaur Desi. Avni Kirit Gedia. <laughs> Romilly Zoe Hrichanek. <laughs> Holly Mitchell. Jamie Tsang. <laughs> Krisha Vajaria. <laughs> Vice Chancellor. I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Pharmacy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Pharmacy of this university. Pharmacy. Nishal Gurung. <laughs> Ashley Tabanzi. Vice-Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom the postgraduate diploma is to be awarded. I admit you to the postgraduate diploma of this university. Pharmacy practice, Caroline Bridget Herin. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the postgraduate certificate is to be awarded. 
I admit each of you the postgraduate certificate of this university. Independent and supplementary prescribing for allied health professionals, Bonita Mary Baber. Independent and supplementary prescribing for nurses. Pauline Arakiamayari, Cole. <laughs> Faye Angeline Sedano. Independent and supplementary prescribing for pharmacists. Sarah Ali. <laughs> Karen Marie Carter. Shafayat Chowdhury. <laughs> Henna Zia Hack. <laughs> Zara Ibrahim Hilawi. Neil Kumar Juglal. <laughs> Dasha Modner. <laughs> Christiana Ogun Modede. Saira Anjum Sawa. Christopher Soto. Vice Chancellor. I present you this candidate to whom the graduate certificate has been awarded. I award to you the university certificate of this university. Independent and supplementary prescribing for nurses, Nadine Shermer. <laughs> Vice Chancellor. I present to you these candidates to whom the degree of Bachelor of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Science of this university. Chemistry, David Bull. <laughs> Dominic Carter Savigier. Amy Elizabeth Dunbar. <laughs> Benjamin Peter English. <laughs> Sagal Farah.
Oliver Hacklin Crowther. <laughs> Tobias Hawkins. Ben Jackson. Andrew Daniel Keans. Vice Chancellor, I present to you these candidates to whom the degree of Bachelor of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Science of this university. Chemistry, Mohammed Assad Khan. <laughs> Zachary Lower. Joshua James Miller. <laughs> Christian Murphy. <laughs> Bradley Pierce. Nimrit Kaur Sahal. <laughs> Lewis Swatridge. <laughs> Tilly Rose Taylor. Takunda Tsvakayi. <laughs> Chemistry with a year in industry research, Charlotte Emma Dredge. Chemistry with Cosmetic Science, Lilla Chen. <laughs> Aurelia Rose Emma Hess. <laughs> Chelsea Emma Simpson. Omang Vora. <laughs> Nina Zatkova. <laughs> 
food science. Jamie Casey. Xiao Ying Gu. Anna Hurihan. <laughs> Winnie Wing Ian Leong. <laughs> Valentina Pira Klusman. C.A. Wren. <laughs> Priscilla Reno Tomaselli. <laughs> Esther Tanhui Yin. Kirsty Turner. <laughs> Tristram Henry John Waters. <laughs> Ebony Ithia Wood. Food Science with Business, Anna Elizabeth Brady. <laughs> Emma Marsden. <laughs> Zainab Sawa. Food Science with Business with Industrial Training, Yasmin Bedford. <laughs> Rachel Siang Yin Chua. <laughs> Food Science with Industrial Training, Nicoletta Alexandru. Charlotte Olivia Bonham.
Vice Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Bachelor of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Science of this university. Food Science with Industrial Training, Luke Alex Crowther. Charlotte Dibble. Kieran Jones. Francesca Ovenden. Tom Seeger. <laughs> Tabitha Alice Smiles. <laughs> Food Science with Bioprocessing. Ayman Omar Yunis Samarayi. Catalin Tallis. <laughs> Wen Yu Shui. <laughs> Xiao Shuan Yao. Jiang Yi Zhu. <laughs> Ling Hei Zhu. <laughs> Food science with bioprocessing with industrial training. Isabel Louise Priest. Nutrition, Francesca Iguehi Akonu. <laughs> Shahad Naji Alafaj. Bethany Hill. <laughs> Georgia Wright. <laughs> Alia Zubair. Nutrition and Food Science, Mariam Khalil Hashim Alani. <laughs> Hayem Ahmed Mohammed Amara. <laughs> Serena Amache. Farah Abbas Golistan. <laughs> 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 
nutrition and food science with professional training, Moria Anastasia Brady. Lauren Loosley. Katie Anna Walden. <laughs> Nutrition with Food Consumer Sciences. Dima Ebrahim Ahmed Alsabi Amazuki. Nutrition with Food Consumer Sciences with Professional Training, Priya Yasmin Verdi Reynolds. <laughs> Georgia Twist. Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Francesca Brown. <laughs> Amelia Hendon. <laughs> Alexis Essie Sirikua Simpson. Finiyan Sivakuma. <laughs> Pharmaceutical chemistry with a year in industry research. Adaobi Azi. <laughs> Vice Chancellor. It has been agreed that the remaining candidates be admitted in absence. I admit each of these candidates to the relevant qualification of this university. Vice Chancellor, Professor Carol Wagstaff will now present Professor Joyce Kakarumatsi Kikafunda for the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. We now welcome Professor Kakarumatsi Kikafunda to the platform. When Joyce Kakaramatsuri Kikafunda was at school in Uganda, it was uncommon for girls to progress into higher education. Her family, however, were keen for her to pursue further studies and floated the idea that she might become a medic. Although fascinated by biology, Joyce's fears of blood and hospitals were incompatible with this ambition, and instead she embarked on a different path studying for a BSc in Agriculture at Makerere University. After graduation, Canada beckoned, and she completed a master's degree in food science at the University of Saskatchewan. Her growing interests in human nutrition brought her to the UK, where she undertook a PhD, supervised by Dr. Anne Walker, here at the University of Reading. Her thesis, entitled Risk Factors for Childhood Malnutrition in Uganda, was awarded in 1996. Joyce's drive and determination to eradicate poverty and reduce childhood malnutrition in Uganda was instrumental in her establishing, with five colleagues, a unit of food science and nutrition at Makarere University. 
30 years later, under Joyce's direction, and with the support of funding from the Norwegian Agency for Development Corporation, this has been transformed into a departmental complex and conference center, complete with state-of-the-art lecture theaters and laboratories, including a multifunctional food processing plant. The number of males and females able to study for a degree in nutritional sciences has greatly increased since Joyce founded the department, which is now elevated to the status of a school. But it is particularly notable how the opportunities instigated by Joyce have enabled many more women of Uganda to access higher education and to be empowered by gaining a science-based degree level education. Joyce's research goal has been to work in the rural areas of her country to understand why malnutrition in children is so prevalent. She discovered that this was primarily a consequence of poor weaning practices where it was common from three months after birth to feed children like adults rather than to continue to provide breast milk or appropriate weaning foods. Joyce and her team worked with mothers explaining that malnourished children were not bewitched and with help and correct diet could put on weight. News of the project was spread via the radio and through conversations at water collection places. Participants were encouraged to engage in the project by providing them with vegetable seeds to improve the family nutrition and to provide extra crops to sell for income. Her work on the project Gender Informed Nutrition in Agriculture contributed to a reduction of child malnutrition in Uganda from 21% to 11% in a period of just four years. Joyce's achievements have been recognized both nationally and internationally. She was awarded the Nestle Nutrition Institute Africa Award in 2012 and became a member of the Board of Trustees of the International Rice Research Institute in 2013. Between 2013 to 2016, Joyce was High Commissioner of Uganda to the United Kingdom, then High Commissioner to Australia, and she is currently High Commissioner in India. She is a founder and member of Ugandan Action for Nutrition, and by some authority is regarded as Uganda's mother of food science and nutrition. Joyce told me that she greatly enjoyed her time when she was studying here at the university. It was friendly and she experienced no discrimination. Frequently, the younger students would help her access computers and use the internet. I'm really proud to say that the values of being open and supportive of people from all backgrounds and ethnicities is still at the heart of our ethos at the University of Reading. We are proud to welcome students from all backgrounds. Joyce, thank you for being a role model for change for so many people from your country and for making a significant difference to the lives and opportunities for others. Vice Chancellor, I present Professor Joyce Kakamaturi Kakavanda for the honorary degree of Doctor of Science of this university. By the authority of the University of Reading, I admit you to the honorary degree of Doctor of Science of this university. Congratulations. The Reading Students' Union Excellence Award Scheme is organised each year by the Students' Union to recognise those staff
who have most enriched the learning experience of their students. I'm delighted to say that the Reading Students' Union Excellence Award winner for diverse and inclusive teaching joins us today, and I invite Dr. Aphrodite Chatsifragu to come forward to receive their award from the Vice-Chancellor. ceremonies are a wonderful events with a lot of well clearly the passion of not just the graduates but for family and friends is all too recognizable and it's a great event to be part of it but we should not forget that many of our graduates today started or have endured elements of the pandemic during their studies and we all recognize that this that this has severely disrupted your studies Unexpected shifts to online learning and examinations have created some of the toughest circumstances that were imaginable. I know some of you may have suffered personal tragedies of losing friends and loved ones, but your determination, your resilience and your adaptability have made sure that you're here today to celebrate your success. You are a credit to your family, to your friends, to the university and to yourselves. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that deserves another round of applause. Now you will have worked out by now that the world is not a perfect place, but the education you have received here should come as a preparation for what is to come. Things will change and you will need to continue to adapt to whatever is coming. And we should also remember that, you know, the pandemic and the world in which we live today has created new opportunities. You can now work online, become a digital nomad and work wherever you want in jobs that were unimaginable when, well, I was your age. But whatever you're doing, you remember you joined a large community of Reading alumni and we're here by your side for the rest of your life. The world is literally your stage. Now I want my graduates to walk away with four aptitudes on top of all the skills and the knowledge you have received here. Those four aptitudes are really important for me. First, that aptitude is the love of learning. You think you've done your exams and you're done, but you're not. You have to learn every day to stay fresh, to stay bright, to stay young, and to be able to adapt to the world as it changes with you. The second aptitude I want you to take away with you is a desire for inquire and recovery because we will need to continue to do research and find innovative ways in solving the problems that are in front of us. Never lose that excitement when you discover something new and make sure it is a meaningful impact on the world around us. The third thing, the third aptitude I want to take away with you is an appreciation of diversity. The orator has already mentioned it, how as a university we welcome students and colleagues from all parts of the world, and we will continue to do so. But always remember that diversity is a strength. When you work with people who don't look like you and don't think like you, the answers and solutions you're going to find are always stronger than when you work with people who think like you. So remember, take that appreciation of diversity with you in the rest of your careers. And finally, how can I not say that? I want to, you to take away a care for the planet. Climate change is real, the biodiversity crisis is real, and we need everybody to do their bit to make people realize what is happening in the world around us. Now, graduates today, you have received a bag with our climate stripes on the side. It is a way of starting communications about what climate change is and what we all can something do about it. Use that aptitude as you move in your career forward. But I do realize that this is a special day. This is your day and a day where you will want to make lots of photos and lots of memories, but above all, celebrate with family and friends your achievements. So enjoy the day and 
I hope it will be a wonderful day for you to remember. Thank you. now all to rise as I declare this congregation for the awarding of degrees first. <laughs>